Hey there, uh, this is Darren. Be glad you struck out. Be glad you struck out the very first time. Striking out is a beautiful thing. One of the worst things that can happen to you is the first time you get a bat at anything. <laughs> you hit a home run. Oh my gosh, it's out of here. That can be the worst thing that happened. One of my friends who was a CEO that I coached, his first time doing stand-up, it was like everything was magical. If you've ever been to the Humor Boot Camp, you know I show a clip of that. And it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was a home run for your first time on stage. That's crazy. Uh, the problem is it sets that expectation, and then we, we kind of have this... Um, or can have this entitlement that maybe it's going to be easier than we think. Um, yeah, windy day here, blowing the phone over. Uh, so it can set that expectation. So, for example, one of the times I was walking uh, in a park near my house, and this guy was taking a metal detector, and he was doing his little thing for like an hour. And he was searching in this place, which... Nobody ever goes to in the park. So if you search under the, the the grandstand where the people sit watching the softball games and the games, there's chances are coins are gonna come out of their pocket or they might lose something. But he was searching like beyond the outfield and it was in an area that nobody even walks over or goes through. So it doesn't mean, hey, he might find something there, but what if he finds something really good? He's going to spend more time searching in that area where he's less likely to find more. My first paid speech where I actually got on a plane came right out of the NSA directory. I was so pumped. It was like getting on a plane. It was, remember, I was 30 years old. It was right at my 30th birthday. And it was, I don't remember, it was like 1500 or 2500 bucks. Uh, but it was Panama City. And it was really cool because it was the first time I had to get on a plane. And it came from the NSA directory. And I remember how much energy and effort I was thinking about that. But ever since then, for 20 years, I've never ever got another speech from the NSA directory. Now, uh, e-speakers, that's different. I I'm not saying that that's a good place and that's a place where I keep my profile. However, sometimes if you hit it over the fence or that first time you nail it, like working on Facebook ads and learning that now. Right now, if that worked great the first time, I'd probably spend a ton of money the wrong way. Hey there, Vicky Nickel, how are you? Uh, my advisor is here, so I must be careful and professional. <laughs> so if I do something and the first time you go out, be thankful if you strike out. It just means there's more to learn. But sometimes if we have that super success really on, we create some false beliefs that disserve us instead of learning the true process and what works over time. So be thankful you struck out early. Maybe it's just a test to see how serious you are about figuring out what it is you're really after. So strike out, be thankful. Those people that hit that home run that first time, by the way, my friend uh, did stand up a second time. And he did really good. Let's just say the first night was a nine. For a first night, that's amazing. The second night was like a six out of 10. Here's the problem. From then on, he looked at that six as a bomb because he was only comparing it to that nine that he got. And he never ever did stand up again, which is sad because he was so good and he was such a great raider. So be thankful you strike out. If this strikes a chord with you, please share it. Please comment. I'd love to hear your comments as we go through this 90-day challenge. Day 61. If you're out there doing this, uh, Jennifer, that was awesome. Doing it from your sick bed. How inspiring. But people are out there and they need our story. They need our message. So if your message matters, get it out there. Inspire by example. Tell your story. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.